my, my pregnant friend called me the other day. She was like, Emily, I think I'm going to have my baby at home. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a home birth. <laughs> uh, that is a disgusting way to lose your secured deposit. <laughs> Yeah, that is a very difficult saying to explain. Just like, uh, it was delivery, not DiGiorno. <laughs> I don't have any kids myself. I'm a pretty big fan of birth control. <laughs> I don't understand when some people are like, birth control is against my religion. It's against my religion. And I'm like, really? Are you, are you serious? Like, seriously? Like, seriously? I mean, because uh, not getting pregnant is the only thing I pray about. <laughs> yeah. I go to church on Christmas and Easter and weeks I'm late. That's it. <laughs> yeah. They're like, you take the pill, you're going to hell. Well, that sounds way better than watching Frozen 2,000 times. <laughs> My mom's pretty awesome. She's amazing. Uh, for my birthday this year, she got me these really expensive crystal wine glasses. And I was like, Mom, I don't drink wine from glasses. <laughs> right. Wine comes in its own glass. <laughs> A box. <laughs> so I'm single. Surprise! <laughs> I went through a pretty bad breakup last year. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is what happened. We were living together. He moved out. Then he waited till I went out of town, snuck back into the apartment, and stole the internet modem. <laughs> Dude, just take a pair of my panties like a normal crazy ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Who steals a modem? I didn't know I had one till he stole it. What is wrong with him? <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I called the cops. And they were like, we don't care. <laughs> They're like, you realize there are people being murdered. And I said, I do realize that. I'm calling to ask if I can have one of their modems. <laughs> For two weeks, you guys, I couldn't get internet. Two whole weeks, I spent every day on the phone with the cable company. I was like, hey, I need internet. And they're like, technically, you have internet at your apartment. Okay, uh, then I'm gonna need more internet. <laughs> and they're like, but you have internet. No, no, I do not. Your internet, it comes to my wall. I need to get it out of my wall. <laughs> and they're like, have you, turned, <laughs> have you tried turning the wall off and turning it back on again? <laughs> Is it like a weird firewall you can't get by? She was like, maybe you have some sort of crazy porn virus. I was like, Ugh, I do have a porn virus. It took my goddamn modem. <laughs> I was in Walmart the other day. I saw a kid there, probably two years old. His head was shaved into a mohawk. He was only wearing a diaper, and he was also strapped into one of those monkey backpack leash harness things. Yeah, and he was just sprinting down aisles with the leash on the floor, just dragging behind him. And my friend goes, we should find his mom. I was like, mom, really? I'm pretty sure he was born here. And he just raised himself eating off shelves. <laughs> I saw him juke and dodge some lady's shopping cart. He's clearly adapted to the surroundings. <laughs> he was climbing on shelves. I think like, you should probably get down from there, Mowgli. <laughs> it's dangerous. I was more worried he'd reach the top, just start banging his chest, and other children would emerge from the clearance bins. <laughs> We found a guy at work. They're like, sir, there's just this kid running around your store. And he goes, oh, yeah, that's our manager. <laughs> yeah, he's got the most teeth.